every night the same dream and every day the same nightmare. What is good, folks? Welcome, Black, to the What If series. I know you. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and point out the elephant in the room. Yeah, Raheem ain't here today. Y'all got Mr. Anime Wizard, the Great Sage, equal to heaven, the one true sage, eventually, the only sage. And today, I'm here to talk to y'all about Doctor Strange and the multiverse of madness we've covered the multiverse like last week we've covered it last week so i'm here to talk about the true multiverse of mad the rip honestly the ripoff version of our of our thing our multi our multiversal mayhem our whatever the first one was i don't even remember anymore i'm here to cover dr strange today let's get it so first things first I am really looking forward to this movie. Like, I am intrigued by this movie because of one specific thing in particular. I've grown stale with scientific Marvel. I've grown stale with it. I want to see more supernatural weirdness. I want to see some Gravity Falls type BS. I want to see some, we I want to see something strange. Granted, Morbius had their chance and they kind of flopped. But you know what? I know Doctor Strange got this. I know Doctor Strange has got this in the bag. Also, all right, all right. So I've watched all the tra I've watched all the trailers. I'm here to give you all my thoughts. Firstly, I like the parallel that they're doing with Strange and Wanda. I like the parallels. Both both being haunted by their actions. Both like both being haunted by their actions or what they've been through. And they and the thing that Wanda said in the trailer, you became you. Sorry, you broke the rules and you became the hero. I break the rules and I become the villain. Does that really seem fair? I do like that they are. I do like that they are generating that parallel because they already started doing that in WandaVision with the when they started talking about the Scarlet Witch theoretically being more powerful than the Sorcerer Supreme. It has to happen. We're going to see that fight one of these days. Like when, when, Scar when Wanda fully turns villain, it's going to happen. And that fight is going to be ridiculous. It is straight up going to be an acid trip. It, it's going to be some weird, it's going to be some absolute weirdness. And I am looking forward to it. All right, point, num point number three, or whatever point we're on in this roundabout of uh, multiverse of madness. I like the dude from the first movie, uh, Castile, uh, Castilia or whatever, or whatever the dude's name was. Him being like they set him up at the end of the uh, at the end of Doctor Strange one. Him being like I see the true issues in the world. It's too many sorcerers, too many of you who do not follow the rules. I'm here to cut the wheat from the chaff. I do like that. I do like that character going for i do like that character and the possible interactions he will have in the movie him being the sort of i'm here to enforce true order there's too many wild sorcerers out there steven the sorcerer the sorcerer supreme is not even is not even withholding the rules so i need to enforce them i really do like that character i like the and he has evidence he has evidence to support his point of view which leads me to point number four or whatever point we're on the main conflict like the multiverse falling apart being caused in part because of dr strange because of his involvement him breaking the him breaking apart the timelines in the first movie when he dealt with dormammu using the time stone to create the time loop and they're probably not going to mention it, but this is going to be my headcanon. Also because of what happens in No Way Home. Like, also because of what happens there. Like, Strange is in part causing the multiverse of, like, this multiversal madness. He is the one, like, he is the center point of all of it. And I really do find that interesting. And I want to see them fully explore. I want to see what exactly they do like the alternate time like the alternate realities the alternate uh the alternate dr stranges that we see i am curious to see what they do with that if 
anything substantial. And now point number five. They're probably gonna, they are more than likely tying in the guy. I probably need to watch Loki because they're setting up those, because they're setting up the cops, like those interdimensional cops who keep reality in order. They're setting that up when Doctor Strange was arrested. Like they are setting that up and they're having that be the reasoning to set to set up the Illuminati, which is which. I'm curious to see where that goes. I also need to read some stuff, like some comics and stuff involving the Illuminati, because I am intrigued. Like the secret society of the most powerful people or the smartest people in the multiverse, like figuring out how to create true peace within the multiverse. And come on, it's Patrick Stewart. Y'all cannot tell, like, it's Patrick Stewart. Come on now. Getting the X-Men, getting Fantastic Four. We've already talked about that a whole bunch. I'm looking forward to Multiverse of Madness. Honestly, Marvel should be giving us some checks because we started this. We started this. But, but, but I'm going to let it slide. I'm going to let it slide because I'm more than likely going to enjoy the movie. I'm going to let it slide. I'm going to let it slide. Supernatural Marvel has my attention. Well, I really need this phase to be a Supernatural Marvel heavy because we've had enough space. We've had enough science in space. Tony Stark is dead. Let's start getting some magic. Start explain. Let's start getting some weirdness. I'm going to talk about that in the next episode. All right, folks, short video today because short video today. I'm going to leave y'all with this. I'm going to leave y'all with this. I hope y'all have a good day today. Y'all know what y'all need to do. Hit the comments down below. Tell, tell us what you're looking forward to about, multiver about the Multiverse of Madness. Tell us, should Marvel give us some checks for coming up with the multiversal, the multiversal mayhem, the universal, whatever the, whatever, the whatever the first title was. I don't even know anymore. Y'all know what y'all need to do. Hit the comments down below. Like this video if you like this episode. And y'all know what y'all need to do. Put some pressure on that notification bell and be sure to subscribe to the What If series for some more videos. I hope you enjoyed the show.